G'day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to tune your diesel heater or your Chinese diesel heater. Basically if you've got this controller on your diesel heater, um, this is how you're going to tune it. This one here I've got is a 5 kilowatt one. So first things first, if you want to prime your fuel uh, or you need to prime it after you've had it running for a while, you might have to disconnect the uh, controller just to be able to get it to reset the controller and all you do is you push the OK and down at the same time I'm going to bring it up to this push up, turns the fuel pump on push down, turns it off press OK and that gets out of that menu now what you want to do is you want to press settings to bring up to the code now the factory code is 1 6, 8, 8. So, this will bring you over to the settings menu. Now, this is your uh, minimum pump speed for the lowest setting. It's your maximum pump speed for the highest setting. Now, I've already got mine tuned up. Your numbers may differ. This number here, I've got to keep pressing this, otherwise it'll time out, may be around 4.5 to 5. So, that's your minimum fan speed. I believe that is your factory setting. And 5000 is the maximum setting. So, well, before we get to that, we'll get over through the settings. We'll keep going until you get to OF. Push up on that. OK. Now you can press up. OK. Up. OK. Up. OK. Up. OK. Now what that did is make life a little bit easy for everyone. It makes the code all sixes. What we have to do next time is go up, okay, up, okay, up, okay, up. Alright. Now I'm pretty sure the minimum you can run this at is 1.2. So we'll put this at 1.6 again for a sec. Uh, and then the maximum will be set at whatever you've got it set at at the moment. So my suggestion is put your minimum fan speed for now at 2500 RPM and your maximum fan speed at 5000 RPM. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn it on and we'll let it get up to speed and I'll get back to you once it's started to get back to speed. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Alright, so now that we've got this thing running up to temperature now, for the demonstration purposes of this video, I've got it set at the maximum fan speed of 5000 at high. So, all you want to do is you go back into your settings, you punch your code in, you know, if you haven't changed it already from the standard 1688, and that's fine. I showed you that at the start of the video. So, at the moment, we're running at 4.2 at a maximum 5,000 RPM. Now, I'm going to keep tapping this otherwise it will time out. So, what you want to do is you want to go down one increment, 0.1. Alright? Then you get out of it. Okay? And then you got to wait. So you wait. And if you lose one red light, then all you need to do is go back into your settings and go up 0.1 and it should come back up to the two red bars. If you lose two red bars and you get to the yellow, you run the risk of a flame out. So, all you do is you keep going down 0.1 at a time. If you go too far, it will drop the red out really, really quickly. And then once you find out when the red light goes out and turns back on, you can go, leave it at that number and even go 0.1 extra and that is the maximum fuel that you'll be able to pump in at that fan speed that you've set at. Because there's a misconception that more fuel means more heat. Now, once you do all that and you work out that's what you want to set it at, then you can go through and do the same thing for minimum and once you've set that out, 
then you can actually go through and adjust your fan speed to a much lower speed. Because normally I have this set at a lower fuel rate and a much lower fan speed on high as to be not so loud. So now this has been running at 4.1 whilst we're talking. So we'll go back in here. Alright, and we drop it down to 4.0. And we'll let that go back through the cycle. And we'll see what that does. Now we'll let that do its thing for a little bit. And it may take about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, I suppose. Or depending on what yours is set at. If you really want, you can go down by 0.2 at a time. But just be mindful that when you do come out of the settings, it will drop out of the red lights rather quickly. And if you go too far and you're not quick enough to get it back up, you will have a flame out. So you, you can experiment with it and it, it does take a little bit. Um, but you'll find once you actually tune it properly that you will use far less fuel. Now I've got to add as well, this is just running on your normal pump diesel. So we'll go back in here again. Alright. We'll go 3.9. Go back out through the settings. And we'll let this go for a bit. So I'll keep going down until this drops a red light. Just to demonstrate the idea and the concept behind this uh, and I'll get back to you when that does drop a light. Alright, so taking a bit of an experimenting, I had to come down to three at the moment. So as you can see we've lost a red light. So we go back into settings, do your code. Now bear in mind this is at the 5000 RPM. So we go back up one. And we'll wait. So, now that we've found the minimum fuel point, and as I said, it may take a while depending on how much fuel is inside the chamber, and it may just need to burn off any residual fuel. So it may take a while that you need to have the pump down really low for the fan to be able to cook the remaining uh, fuel off, and then once you start losing the light, then you'll be able to figure out how much more fuel you can pump back into it. So that's why you may need to go down fairly low to begin with, depending on how much fuel your pump is set at to begin with. So I put it to 3.0. Now that I know is fairly low. So now I've gone to 3.1 and it still hasn't gained an extra red light yet. So what we'll do is we'll go back in, and we'll go 3.2, bear in mind this is at the maximum 5000 RPM. Also, while we wait for that to come back up, you push the settings in the up arrow, and that tells you the temperature, which is 35, or you can make it to the pulse rate. So while it's coming back up, I have a sneaky suspicion this will probably go back up to about 3.4 or so. But as I said, because I had it up fairly high, just for the demonstrations of this purpose of this video, I had to come down low enough for it to cook off any unburnt fuel just sitting in the chamber. So we'll go back again. We haven't lost or gained any red lights as of yet. Bear in mind, one red light lost is good. Not ideal, but you don't want it to get to yellow because that then will uh, have a result of a flame out. So we go through the cycle and the settings. So I like to have it set at the hertz rate just to remind me what it's set at. Where is the setting? There it is. Right. Yeah, I'm on. Now you want to pump back up. As I said, I think it might be a 3.4 frequency. Yeah, 
It may even be the 3.6 like I had it previously set at before. So I'm pretty sure 3.4 to 3.5. Although I did have to put the old pump back in. I, I put a new quieter pump in and well, I we decided to no longer want to pump. It made noise, but it was no longer pumping. Uh, so I had to put the old one back in, which was slightly louder. So, it still works nonetheless. Yeah, see. So, yeah, Sneaky suspicion. I'll end up back up to where I was before. So, we'll go 3.5. We'll let that slowly ramp itself back up and basically that's all you keep doing is you just keep going up and down you know once you lose one light then you can go back up slowly until you get your extra bar back and then from there you can leave it at that when you just go up another point one of an increment pulse rate and then that is your high setting and then you do the same thing for your low setting and then I'll get into what I had it set at before once I show you the concept of all this. I'll get back to you when this starts come back up. Alright, so as you can see we've got two red lights back on again. Damn it, I missed the uh, settings. So, this pump ended up being 3.7. But that's for 5,000 RPM. So, what we're going to do now is, right, we'll go back through to this, uh, and what I'll do is I'll put it onto the minimum. So 3.7 is the highest you know, we want to have it at at the moment. Um, for this exercise, even I might even just put it at. 3.8, so it's 0.1 above the minimum that you require of the fuel delivery. Now what I'll do is I'll put this down to the low setting. So I'll just let this wind down. We'll go down to 1.2. So I'd say by now you get the idea of it. I believe 1.2 is probably the minimum pump frequency. You can go. Now the fan speed is proportional to uh, the, the pump as well. So now what we're going to do is I'll go back in the settings here. Alright. And say so that's it set up one at the moment. I'll wait for that to ramp down. But you get the idea of where you want it to have it set at. So we'll go to 1.2 at the moment. That's at 3.8. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this one, alright, and I'll make it, actually now I'll make it 1400 RPM on the lowest setting. I find that set to be way quieter, you don't have to have the fan blasting as high at low settings. Now this one here, I'll make that at 3500. Now as you can see, we've lost a red light here. So, what we're going to do... We'll go back in here real quick. And this one, I think you'll find, I need it at 1.6 and 3.8. I'll go through the settings there. So, as you can see now that I've changed the fan speed to a much lower speed, and it changed everything about this as well, also. So, you get the idea. That's how I normally have it set out, is a much lower rate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just make sure this thing is tuned up perfectly uh, for this pump, because I had it set up for the other pump, which was a bit more of a higher frequency pump. But, as I said, it stopped working, so just put the standard one back in that come with it. But hopefully this video is helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask me. I hope I didn't lose anyone. I hope we didn't, the video doesn't go too long for everyone um, but that's the basic idea of running this yeah it does take a little bit but hopefully this video helps you out righto see ya and just in case if everyone was curious I was going
go back to the settings real quick. And my minimum is set at 1.2, 3.6, 1400 RPM, 3500 RPM on the highest. So that is all my settings on this one, just to give everyone an idea and a bit of a reference. And I'll just show you this, there's a bit of soot around the exhaust at the moment, but that's because I've been playing around with it. But sitting here, there's a lot of heat coming out of there, hardly any sort of smoke and fumes. And that is currently set on the high setting. So when it's on the medium setting, to make it all comfortable in the van, you won't even hear it. One last thing I should add as well is once you find where your tuning positions are, when you first fire it up, you probably find that it takes a long time to get up to running temperature. Um, but that's perfectly fine. If you really want, you can put, turn it on, put it on high to start with to get the maximum pump rate. And once it's fired up, just turn it down to a setting that you're comfortable with and you'll find your van warm up reasonably quick anyway.